sorry. So let's pray. Our Father in heaven, we are grateful to you this morning. We are giving you glory, honor, adoration. We worship you for whom you are. We trust you this morning that you are still going to reveal deep things to us. We pray, Lord Jesus, that you will literally have your way and take a full control of our prayer this morning in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, this morning, as we consider it, Holy Father, we are not considering it for anything. We are considering it so that we can become a better husband. We are considering it so we can become a better wife. We are considering it so we can become a better pastor. We are considering it so we can become a better parent and a better citizen and a better representative of Christ. We pray, O oh Lord God, that you will do uh, a supernatural work in us so that even as you do this, Lord, we will be internally grateful to you in Jesus' name. Amen. You have answered <clears throat> mighty name we have prayed. Amen. This time we want to begin to give thanks to God and honor his holy name. I want to begin Thou to worship. Worthy. Uh, I want to Thou adore. Thou art worthy, O oh Lord, worthy, O oh Lord, to receive glory, glory honor. honor, and power, oh, for Thou art created yes. all things are for Thy They uh, are. Uh, we create. Father, we worship you, Lord. Thou art worthy to receive all our praises, all our, our adoration. We thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for the gift of sleeping and waking up. Thank you for our families. Thank you for ourselves. Thank you for helping me, O oh Lord, to meet up one or two things. O oh Lord, God, I will worship you. So I'm going to I'm going to bless you as a glory, honor, adoration, thanksgiving be unto your name, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you for all that you have been doing for us in the prayer networks. Lord, you have been so good. Father, you have sustained us all these years. We exalt your name for your servant you have been using. Thanks. Children, you have been using to. Make sure this program come up every now and then. Lord God, now we worship and bless your name. We worship and reference your name. Say glory, honor, adoration, and thanksgiving be unto your name, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Lord, thank you for yet another wonderful day of prayer. We have come before you again today, Father. We are praying. That Jesus, you open. we pray. Amen. We want to come before God and give Him thanks for our spouse and our children want to give him thanks and give him glory that the God of heaven has been keeping us, upholding us and preserving us with our spouse. Shall we open our mouth and give thanks Father, to Father, we worship and bless your name for the wonderful wife you have given unto me. You have given me a good wife. You have given me good children. A wife that does not give me headache. A wife that is always supportive. A wife that is always caring. <laughs> And children too that are always there to fill the gap. Father God, I will worship you. Father, I will adore you as a glory, honor, adoration, and thanksgiving be unto your name, O Lord, in Jesus' name. I will thank you for the partner that has given me. You've said in your word that you give me an helpmate, an helpmate. Actually, Lord, you have given me an helpmate, a woman that knows that husband needs to be supported, a woman that knows that children need to be supported. Father God, I will exalt your name. I thank you, Lord, because you have done everything so well for me. I give you glory for this. I say, be thou exalted, O Lord, in Jesus' name. O Lord, I use my family as a point of contact to other families in this network. Father, in heaven, I pray, O Lord, there is nothing you cannot correct. There is nothing you cannot do. Any family that is having issue, that the wife is not actually what you want the wife to be, or the husband is not supposed to be father touch them oh lord in jesus name amen 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 we're looking at matthew chapter 12 in matthew chapter 12 i i believe uh, uh i don't know but i believe it's being recorded and so 
the people who will listen later to will be blessed, even though we have a short time. But I want to tell us that we will be blessed by uh, this morning prayer. And uh, we will be asking for God's grace. There are many things that people don't know that destroy relationships, not just about marriage, all kinds of relationships. And uh, you find many people, they say, oh, they don't have good friends or they don't have valuable friends, or they don't keep friends for too long. Watch out why we are such people. And you wonder why some people, though they may be Christian in court or Christian per se, but yet people don't get close to them. I will tell you why. I will tell you why. I will tell you why, why some people have voice, some so-called pastors, some so-called Christians, or so-called uh, leaders in the church. In Matthew chapter 12, in verse 33, either make the tree good and its fruit good, or else make the tree corrupt and its fruit corrupt. For the tree is known by its fruit. Jesus was the one speaking here. In verse 34, O generation of vipers, how can ye, being evil, speak good things? In other words, I'm not expecting you to speak good things. Why? Because you don't have good thing inside of you. You are a generation of viper. Viper don't uh, plan or imagine good thing. For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaking. And there's nothing like uh, it was just something accidental. I just said it uh, this. I just said it that. When it becomes something habitual, there it reveals the state of the heart. Verse 35. A good man out of the good treasure of the earth bringeth forth good things. And an evil man out of the evil treasure bringeth forth evil things. Listen to this now. But I say unto you, but every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account zero in the day of judgment. Verse 37. For by thy word thou shalt be justified, and by thy word thou shalt be condemned. We want to go before God this morning. The prayer this morning has to do with grace to speak gracious and kind words. It's grace to bring our tongue under the control of the Holy Spirit. It was a GS who made this statement. I heard it some years back. Nothing reveals someone's personality more readily than a speech. Nothing reveals someone's personality more readily than a speech. Our speech will reveal who we are. Do you know why people don't confide in some people? Their tongue. They can't keep secrets. Do you know why people avoid some people? Their mouth. They can't keep what is being discussed with them. And there are pastors, in the name of trying to give illustration, they even confess to pay with some illustration in the church, thereby revealing things. And the person is in the congregation not comfortable and not happy. What I told the pastor and all the our tongue we reveals a lot about all. And there are many wives, they are having problem with their husband because they probably watch a movie. And then the movie are terribly influenced there, and they speak sarcastically, disrespectfully, and insultingly. So they are wife, so they are husbands. And there are husbands who will reduce their wife to a slave by virtue of what is coming out of their mouth. This morning, God can do something. God can walk upon our tongue. There is this song I tell that say, Tell my tongue, O Lord. Tell my tongue. Tell my tongue, O oh Lord. Tell my tongue. And you see what, O oh Lord. Tell my tongue. 
I use it for your work. God, save my soul. Are we aware that the reason why many of the young people are leaving the church? Because there are some of our pastors and leaders in many places who are very sarcastic of the Gen Z. Sarcastic about them. And then every now and then when they see them, rather than seeing how they could be a counsel, meet and pray. And they think by being judgmental, they think by being judgmental, they are keeping the standard of holiness. Unfortunately, they are not. Unfortunately, no love in the heart, no kind words in the mouth, no gentleness of the spirit, no meekness of life. And at the end of the day, you'll find many of the children living in hypocrisy while they are under the roof of their parents so that they will not talk. And by the time the children leave the house, they show their true identity. And you are amazed. And you are shocked. In many places, you find husband. A wife was telling me last night at the state headquarters, our church, yes, our church. And then I called her because her husband is my friend. And I called her. I said, how far? Because she reported the husband to me. And then, and I needed to know exactly, be my friend, and I needed to know, so I was with them, I interviewed them, I, I interviewed them myself during their 10th anniversary, I was in their house, and all that last week, or two weeks ago, okay, it was last week, and I interviewed them, and then I was asking the wife, I wanted to know how far, what's the development now? And uh, I was not happy with the report at all. And I told the wife, I will confront you. There's no, this one is not saying something behind somebody. No, it's my friend and I'm going to meet him. I'm going to tell him something myself. And then, uh, and then uh, for what the woman said, you can tell, you can tell. And uh, it was not something palatable at all. And that's what it, and the, the woman used a statement. This was a statement that they are not being extremely careful not to offend each other. We are not in the barrack. Can you just, you are not free to flow, and then you are careful because you know that the man may is offended, the woman may be offended, you cannot play, you cannot joke, you cannot, nothing, nothing. It shouldn't be. We are not in the barrack. This is marriage. It should be fun. We want to go before God now that the Lord God will examine our heart before we begin to pray other prayer. We want to ask the Lord right now where we are default, where we are default, where we have said things we shouldn't have said, where we have acted the way we shouldn't have acted, where we have behaved the way we shouldn't have behaved, where we have gone the direction we shouldn't have gone, where we have spoken we shouldn't have spoken, where we have thought of things we shouldn't have thought of, where we have said things we shouldn't have said, where we have acted in the way we shouldn't have acted. Oh, Jesus, we come this morning presenting our heart and presenting our soul. Are you talking to God in prayer? Let's talk to God in prayer. Father, we worship, we bless, we reference your name for your goodness. We thank you because you are God. We thank you for your word that has come expressly this morning. Father, we pray, O oh Lord, and say, Lord, tame my tongue, O oh Lord. Father God, tame my tongue, O oh Lord. Is there any way I've used my tongue the way I'm not supposed to? Is there any way I've used my tongue to scatter, to destroy, to pull down? Oh Lord God, never when I come before you this morning, I say, Father, take my tongue, oh Lord, and visit me and my family and give us the best on earth, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, I lift up my eyes unto you, unto the heath from where she commit my help. My help coming from you, oh Lord. Father, I pray this morning that you will do something new in my life, oh Lord. Father, do something new in my life, oh Lord. Father, do something new in my life, O oh Lord, and visit me in a special way, O oh Lord. 
In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, I come before you because you are my God. Beside you, Lord, there is no order. Oh Lord, I pray that you will do something new, oh Lord, and help me to. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, Father, I come before you, oh Lord. Oh Lord, I come before your throne, and I pray, oh Lord, that you help me to use my voice to edify, to use my tongue to edify, to use my tongue to to edify. Lord, in Jesus' name, amen. Before there can be a war in anywhere, there must have been a war of words. Before Mm. there can be anything like divorce or separation, there must have been an exchange of words. Before there can be a problem in the marriage or in any relationship, there must be an exchange of words. Words are very powerful. There is nothing like an empty word. There is nothing like, words are not empty. It's either you mean what you are saying and you do not mean it, and then the power in the air carry the word and then they act on it. Words are very powerful. This is why parents must be very careful and do not allow people to just use words on their children. We want to go before God now. Point number one prayer is found in Colossians chapter 4, verse 6. That's the first prayer point. Colossians chapter 4, in verse 6. In Colossians chapter 4, verse 6, the Bible says, Let your speech be always with grace. We want to pray that our speech will be with grace. Husband, our speech will be with grace. Wives, our speech will be with grace. My father, let there be grace. Enough grace, my words will be gracious. That I will be gracious with my words to my children. That I will be gracious with my words to my wife. That I will be gracious with my words to my pastor. That I will be gracious with my words in my relationship. Let's talk to God in prayer. The Bible says that I come before your throne of mercy this morning. Oh Lord, you said my space should be filled with grace always, not sometimes, but always. Oh Lord, I come before your throne. I pray, oh Lord, that you help me and give me the grace. Give me the power that my world always will fill with grace, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Make me a, a family builder. Make me a community builder. Make me a church builder. Make me, oh Lord, a nation builder. In the Jesus. name of Jesus. Let me that my tongue will not scatter but build in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, in that verse, say, in that says, seasoned with salt. Seasoned with salt. That you yes. may know how to answer every man. I hope you know there are wives that don't know how to answer their husband. Husband have asked a simple question. They are using question to ask question in a way that is derogatory, in a way that is disrespectful, that does not show that one has regard for the husband. And there are husbands that don't have, they don't know how to answer questions. And then they answer in a way that shows that they don't honor their wife, they don't value their wife, they don't have regard for their wife. And and speaking on both sides, we want to go before God. Our words will be seasoned with salt. If God can just do this for us, that our words are seasoned with salt and we know how to speak. You know, some people will say, but I'm a Christian now. That doesn't mean we must learn something. We must learn what we call communication. There are ways that people communicate, and yet they are Christian. Yeah, they are Christian, but they speak in a very crude manner. That's why people are avoiding them. We want to cry unto God that God will make our words to be seasoned with salt. God will make our words seasoned with salt. You will not Father in heaven, we come before your throne of mercy. This moment, you will not pray, O oh Lord, that you will not make my way to the season oh, with salt, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, I come before your throne, I pray this morning, I say, Lord, 
help me, oh, oh Lord, to make my work season with salt, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, I come before your throne of mercy. Oh Lord, I come before your throne of mercy. Father, I pray this morning as you season my word, oh Lord. Father, help me so that my words will build, but not scatter, Lord. In the name of Jesus, season my word to salt, oh Lord. Season my words, oh Lord. Help me, oh Lord, to always speak in wisdom, to always speak things that will be helpful. To all the things that will edify in the name of Jesus, the grace, O oh Lord, that my words will will fill with Jesus praise. Name, we pray. In Jesus' name, Amen. Where point number two, where point number three, is found in Proverbs chapter fifteen, in verse one. Proverbs chapter fifteen, verse one. A soft and sad turneth away wrath. But grievous words tear up anger. Have you realized how people got divorced? Some people got divorced. Have you realized what led? The husband has said something. And then the wife will fed all. And then the husband is talking gently. The wife is talking very loud. The neighbor begins to wonder what's going on there. Or is the wife that is talking gently or talking softly, and then the man is loud, very loud, and then before you know it, they cannot even hear themselves, and the devil is making the thing look like they are far away from each other. The devil is enlarging the problem, enlarging the problem. One is shouting, the other one is talking soft, and then if girl is not taken, the one that is talking soft, we now start talking loud. And the way both of them become loud, there's already a uh, pandemonium. There's already a problem, a disaster. And uh, But here, we are told that a soft answer. In other words, two persons, husband and wife, should not be at that point of clamor. At that point, clamor. Clamor is like a, a loud uh, uh, kind of mom, and girl and all that. And then they shouldn't be. If one is angry, eye up there, the other one should see how to bring that husband to equilibrium. How do you bring that husband to equilibrium? You bring the husband to equilibrium by your soft answer, by your soft response. Is the husband now, you bring your wife to that equilibrium state with your soft reply, soft answer, it tastes great. Brothers and sisters, pastors and leaders, it tastes great. This is why uh, these are things that when you speak it in the world, they say, I beg you, they go talk to Mumu. I know be Mumu, I know be Mumu. But to keep the home, to keep the family, there will be a place of compromise. I don't think it's a sinful thing. You let go something and you let go. We want to go before God. God will make us meek people. God will make us Amen. people. Amen. Father, we come before your throne of mercy. Oh, we will not God, speak. We will pray, oh Lord. Father, we will not we will not speak. Lord, that you help me to Just speak up anger. in a way that will not stir up fear anger. Up anger. Grace, oh Lord, fear that I will, my speech will not stir oh, up Lord. anger with my, my wife. wife. For my children, all with people I walk with, all relate with, grant unto me, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, you said, soft words connect away anger, connect away wrath. Father in heaven, I pray this morning that you help me and make my, give me the grace that my words will be soft, that my words will turn away anger at all times in Jesus' name. In the midst of the family, O oh Lord, the grace that my world will not stay up front. The grace that my world will turn away every anger around me. Father in heaven, I pray that you grant unto me, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I come before your throne of mercy this morning. Father. Amen. The next prayer point is found in Proverbs chapter 13, in verse 3. Proverbs 13, 
Pastor, can you all hear me? Are you following, sir? Yes, sir. Okay, Proverbs chapter 13, verse 3. He that keepeth his mouth, keepeth his life. God will help us. We want to go before God now. He that keepeth his life, mouth, keepeth his life. That man, can I show us this scripture? Can I show us? Let me show us. Let me show us this statement I just read now. He that keepeth his mouth, does what? Keepeth keep his life. life. Now, let me show us an example. In 2 Samuel, 2 uh, Kings chapter 7. 2 Kings chapter 7, verse 1. Then Elisha said, Hear ye the word of the Lord, thus says the Lord, tomorrow about this time shall a measure of fine flour be stored for a shekel, and two measures of barley for a shekel in the gate of Samaria. Then a lord, that lord there was a big man, was a high ranking man, a lord on whose hand the king leaned, answered the man of God, and said, Behold, if the Lord will make windows in heaven, might this thing be? And he said, Now, the Lord, that man, he was he was a big man, and he was replying to Elijah. Because of the famine that was in the land, that the famine was so terrible, and the, the man was a doubter, even though he was a doubter, at least he should have kept quiet. Even though the devil was suggesting doubt in his heart, at least he should have been quiet. Because nobody will quote you for what you have not said. But you can be misquoted for what you have said. You can be misquoted. As long as the thing was in his heart and he has not said it out, well, he can still preserve his life. But look at him now. And then he just altered unbelief and he spoke it out. And everyone could hear him. And Elisha replied, Behold, thou shalt see it with thy eye, but thou shalt not eat thereof. Unfortunately, that man died. That man died. That man died. There were, eventually God answered the prayer. Eventually, God did what he wanted to do. But that particular man, look at it now, in that verse 19. And the Lord answered the man of God and said, Now, behold, if the Lord should make windows in heaven, my such thing be. And he said, Behold, thou shalt say it with thy eye, but thou shalt not eat thereof. And so it fell out unto him. For the people trod upon him in the gate, and he died. People trod. There was a stampede. There was a stampede, and they trampled on him, and he died. He should not have died, but he died. His word killed him. His confession killed him. Opening his mouth anyhow killed him. Have you asked some why? They would just say, you have killed me, oh. You have killed me, and you have killed me. I don't die, oh. I don't die, oh. They begin to say all kinds of things. The Bible says, he that keepeth his mouth, Keep it is life. Make God help us to control our tongue. That's a prayer. Let's Amen. go to the Lord. Amen. Father in heaven, I come before your throne of mercy. This morning I pray, O oh Lord, that you help me to keep my mouth so that my life will be saved. In the name of Jesus. Father, you said it correctly. You have said, said it's your word, and we have seen the example like this man that challenged the man of God, and because of that challenge, he died just the next day. Jesus. Father in heaven, I pray that you help me we pray. To keep my tongue and keep my life, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. But he that openeth is openeth it wide, his lay shall have destruction. We saw it here. We saw it that that man had destruction because he just opened the mouth uncontrollably. And this is why we want to be very careful. When anger begins to ooze out from you, that anger makes you to begin to say to me, you have said one, and then the day we say that's not enough, don't let your wife take you as a right, say another one, and then you see another one, little by little, we call it momentum in physics, and then you begin to gain ground, you begin to gain ground, and then you see another one, something is building up in you, and then before you know, you say the next one again, something is building up. Before you know, you start exaggerating the problem. You start exaggerating, and then you start saying, oh, this is how you always behave, and that's not true. That's not true. 
Before you know it, begin to say outright lie. Before you know it, that man is finished. And then by the time the whole thing is done, guilt and condemnation fills his heart. And then he starts crying. He goes back to the court. And then he's coming back again to repeat the same thing. We want to cry unto God that the Lord God, look at this song. Lord, make my living. Day in talking, Lord, give me a life walk. When sorrow overtake me, when flesh would forsake me, Lord, make me. For a more light day, Lord, make my day. Father, like on the fall of you this morning, Father, make my day in a blessing this day. I want to go before the Lord. Let's pray. Let's go, Lord. Father, make my day in a Lord. Help me, Father, I come before your throne this morning. Father, I come before your throne this morning. As I say, in my words, O oh Lord, keep my life, save my life, through my words, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, the grace, O oh Lord, all the sins in my word, that to me, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, amen. Life and death. This is the last prayer point as I call Pastor Matthew. Life and death are in the power of the tongue. Life and death are in the power of the what? Of the tongue. The Life. Tongue. Then death also in the power of the Can I show the scripture? Proverbs chapter 18, verse 21. Death and life. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. The tongue has power. And most so we are believers. How do I know? Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 4. Where the word of the king is, there is power. Our words carry power. We want to decree and declare. What do we want for our family? What do we want for our own? What do we want for our children? What do we want for our wife? What do we want for our husband? <laughs> What do we want for our children? Declare it! And that's the last prayer point as Pastor uh, Pastor Matthew takes over now. Father in heaven, I thank you for the truth. You have said that life gets out of town. Father, I come this morning and let in life Jesus name for my we wife and my children for everything. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Uh, I look at all uh, the um, the grace God, grace God has given to our leader and how he's directing us in the in this prayer. I look at a lot of example of sin. You see that a family that do not have Jesus Christ, they are uh, 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 the, the 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 family does not have foundation the family does not have foundation because there's nothing they cannot do there's no self righteousness without jesus christ uh, either the husband will be doing fornication and adultery or the wife will be going to all these fetish people either they will they will be fighting or they will follow money more than any other thing. So a family that have no Jesus Christ, they are full of crisis. I want you to go and write it down. Any family you see that have no Jesus Christ, they are full of crisis. So the first thing I want us to do is to call upon the name of the Lord. You may have any that kind of prayer beside uh, beside you. You may have any that kind of uh, family that you know. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. The God that go to the house of many, Jesus Christ went to the house of many people and they were accepted. What about Zacchaeus? He was, Zacchaeus was accepted. 
we call upon the name of the Lord. That Almighty God will go to their life, will go to their family in the name of Jesus Christ. And then they will, okay. say they will accept Jesus Christ as their Savior. Let's open our mouth. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. You may be talking about the brother. You may be thinking that the brother knows Jesus Christ. This Jesus Christ in him is a fake. He doesn't know him. You may be talking about his sister. You may be thinking that that sister knows Jesus Christ. The Jesus Christ in her is not a real Jesus Christ. It's a fake. Many Father, Christians we come before your throne this morning. We pray, O oh Lord. Many Christians are just camouflaging. We submit our Jesus Christ, our... they didn't accept him. They are following oh Jesus Christ, they didn't accept him. What happened during that, that, kind, so during that, be uh, that period? Servant, oh yes, Lord, Jesus Christ gave them the food. But Jesus. many of them, they are following him. Oh when he said they are true, what happened? They come back. Many people were that they know Jesus Christ. Apple that brother, you think that he knows Jesus Christ. That sister, you, that you think he knows Jesus Christ. They don't. They don't. They are just following Jesus Christ because of what they want to eat. They are just following Jesus Christ because of what they want to drink. And the many of the challenges come to us, they come back. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. That the the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, Jesus will go to the family. Jesus will go to the family. Jesus will go to the family. Our family will accept them. Our family will accept him in the name of Jesus Christ. Family will tell Jesus Christ through the crisis. in the but all the family in that is that kind of anywhere when we are slept, and the power of Jesus Christ, they will be accepted by Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, they will accept Jesus Christ as their Savior. Oh they will accept Jesus Christ as their controller. They will accept Jesus Christ as their director. They will accept Jesus Christ as their they will Father, accept Jesus Christ as, again, a, 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 as a mentor. The they will accept Jesus, Jesus Christ as one. They will totally be in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Let's open our mouth. Let's open our mouth. Let's open our mouth. For all those families that do not have the Jesus Christ, I can tell you, I can tell you, one of them, 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 they are not the Jesus Christ. Because what they want to do, what they want to bring, 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 in Jesus name we pray. Amen. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. The Bible tells us that those who guard their mouth and their tongues keep themselves from calamity. I've seen a couple. And then, and then when, they were fighting, when they were fighting, the husband the told the wife, told the wife I know you are a husband in the name of Jesus Christ. You want to take a look at them. But there is something. What about if you take care of them, and by the time you need to be giving their food, you die. 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 And I'm saying, and I'm saying, a mother, 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 a Father, I come before you. 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 Father, I
Jesus Christ, the Lord of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Good morning, sir. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, sir. God bless you, my brother. 